Hello, my name is Dr. Sadaf and I'll be performing the primary survey on Dr. Kamran over here. I will approach my patient with an ATLS walk and be accompanied by a trauma team and take all universal precautions. Hello, sir. Hello. Please do not move your no. neck. Do not move your neck, please. Okay. Do not move your neck. Okay. I will first immobilize the patient. My name is Dr. Sadaf. I'm here to help you. I will be putting a neck collar around your neck. Please do not move your neck. Okay. In order to insert the neck collar, the strap should be retracted and uh, the collar inserted beneath the neck and then, please sir, do not move your neck. Okay. Ideally, um, for cervical injuries, we do triple Im immobilization with sandbags towards the right, left and above uh, the head. After that, uh, we will ask the patient, could you please open your mouth for me? There's no loose dentures, no foreign bodies uh, in the mouth. Could I please know your name? Um, so the patient is verbalizing, which means the area is patent. We also check the trachea with two hands, whether it's central or not. After that, we check for uh, the breathing from the side and from the foot end and we look at the chest whether there's any uh, deformity any there's no bruising there's no bleed there's no frail chest that I can appreciate over here uh, after that we go to the circulation the peripheries are warm there's no paler in the hands there's no blood around the patient's uh, bed I'd like to check uh, the heart rate and the blood pressure of my patient the blood pressure is 90 over 60 and the heart rate is 150. Okay, so my patient is hypotensive and tachycardic. I'd like to uh, put two white bore IV cannulas uh, and immediately send off the blood for full blood count, use an ease, uh, group and save, uh, and uh, immediately uh, rush two liters of warm normal saline uh, in my patient to resuscitate my patient. Uh, after that, I'd uh, look at the chest. Uh, please. Comrade, could you let me know if uh, you feel any pain when I touch your chest, okay? There is no tenderness on palpation in my patient over the chest. Take deep breaths for me. Chest expansion is normal in my patient. I'm gently going to tap on your chest now. There is no hyper resonance or dullness uh, in percussion in my patient. Uh, after that, I would proceed to auscultation. Could you please take deep breaths for me? There are no decreased breath sounds in my patient as well. After that, I would like to do an abdominal examination for any internal bleeding. Could you please place your arms by the side? And look at the face of the patient to appreciate if there's any pain. I would also listen to the bowel sounds and if there is any tenderness guarding or reduced bowel sounds, I would immediately call the surgeons, do a fast scan uh, to exclude any intra-abdominal bleed. To exclude the pelvic fractures, uh, we do a test known as the spring test where we push down on uh, the iliac bones. I am going to press down on your hips a bit. Please let me know if it causes any pain. Oh. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, pain in a spring test indicates a pelvic fracture, so I will buy, uh, put a pelvic binder, give analgesia, uh, get a pelvic x-ray done, and call the orthopedics team in to manage the fracture. After that, I will gently palpate the thighs for any open or closed fractures of uh, the femur or the legs, uh, leg bones. 
there seems to be no pain in the legs. I would check for the dorsalis pedis, uh, the pulse uh, in the peripheries, and if that is fine, there's no vascular compromise uh, down in the legs. So that wraps up our um, ex uh, primary survey. We will cover the patient after the examination for, uh, to prevent hypothermia and uh, further manage according to the plan. Thank you very much. That concludes our primary survey.